Koji, thanks for joining us. Sporting success is in your family's blood. Tell us a little bit about your family's sporting background and how that led you to want to be a sportsman. Uh, I'm so fortunate that my uh, whole family are uh, engaged with the sports. And especially my father was uh, four times Olympian since uh, 1972. And then last Olympic was 1984. And I was in a stand watching his throw at the Olympic Games. I was so inspired by my father competed. And I didn't know that I gonna choose that same event. Somehow I did. And then, uh, of course, I, in the path, I enjoyed so much other sports too, but I choose the same event as my father. And since I choose, that was 15 years old, and um, he became my, uh, my father became my coach. Till now, he's, you know, I'm a little bit better than him now, but he still carries the camera to check the, you know, my techniques and then uh, and the movement. Looking to your own career, and I assume the pinnacle of your career was the Athens 2004 gold medal. After initially being cheated out of the top prize by an athlete who failed a doping test, this personal story of vindication must have made you very passionate about protecting clean athletes. Uh, what was happening in Athens was a really sad story uh, because, uh, you know, I was not able to get the medal in the podium, but I was lucky because when I go back to Japan, there was a, a 50,000 people watching my uh, last season of the competition, and afterwards, they, a JOC president or a JOC president, uh, Mr. Takeda, has made a ceremony for us, for me, and then uh, I received the medal in Japan. So I was not fortunate to not getting medal in the Olympic game, but I was fortunate to get, uh, to have two medal ceremonies. You've talked in the past about the importance of the spirit of sport. And of course, it's something that's mentioned in the World Anti-Doping Code, it's really highlighted. Why is the spirit of sport so important? The sports is not just getting a medal or a gold medal. It's, we all have own goal and goal and cause. I always teach in, sometimes in you know, lecture to young people, we have a goal and cause. Goal is important as maybe getting the gold medal, but then the cause is really important. It's the cause moves you, have, uh, that makes you motivate. What is your cause? This cause is not just getting a medal. Maybe it's something to, I have experienced 20, uh, 2011 at the uh, big earthquake was attacked in Japan and so much young people was, you know, it's a whole city was destroyed. The tsunami washed away the city and they lost their home, loved ones, and, and uh, so many things. Uh, when I visited him, and then, what, as an athlete, what can I do? And I thought, bring the medal. So my goal is bring the medal, but my cause is, to bring, you know, uh, uh, good energy or something to encourage them. So the goal and cause are always important. The Wada Athlete Committee, it's 10 years old now. What does it mean to be a member of the committee? It is really, really wonderful seeing um, my colleagues. Every time we have a conference, I have so much motivated working, working with them. And if I make what is Athlete Commission for Wada, if I say one word, what, what will fit is guardians. It's guardians of our sports. Koji Mirafushi, thank you very much. Thank you so much.